Section 11.5, areas of circles and sectors. Okay, now we're looking at the area. And just like we saw with the last section, we're going to have this constant ratio thing going on. But we do need to remember that the area for a circle is area equals pi r squared, where again, r is our radius. And pi is approximately 3.14. A sector area is a portion of the circle's area. So before we looked at arc length, which was this bit here, now we're going to look at the area. As I mentioned, we see a similar proportion that we saw with the arc length. So what we need to make sure we have down is the area is pi r squared. Then the ratios for a sector area are as follows. The degrees of our central angle, we put over the degrees of a whole circle. So whatever the measure of arc ABC, angle ABC is, we put over 360. This is going to equal the area of the sector in relationship to the area of the entire circle. So again, if this was 40 degrees, then this means we're in a 1 to 9 ratio of both degrees and area and arc length everything stays in that 1 to 9 ratio. Well, let's look at some examples. Find the area of a circle and then the area of each sector. So you're given here a radius of 14 feet and an angle of 120 degrees. Try this on your own real quick first and then resume when you're ready to check your solution. All right, if we have 120 degrees, that means we're in a ratio of 120 to 360. But before I do that even, I need to find the area of the circle. So area is pi r squared, which in this case is pi times 14 squared. Gives me approximately 615.752 feet squared. Then we have 120 degrees out of 360 equals the area of our sector, so we'll say area of sector 1, and we'll let this area here that I'm highlighting in yellow. We're going to say that that is sector 1. We'll say that this area over here, which I'm highlighting in green, we'll say this is the area of sector 2. So the area of sec 1 over the total area of the circle, which is 615.752. Cross multiply, so 615.752 times 120 gives me 73890.26 equals the area of sector 1 times 360. To solve for the area of sector 1, I divide both sides by 360. So I get that the area is 205. 0.251, and that is feet squared. So I found the area of the entire circle so far, which is 615.752, the area of the yellow portion, which is 205.251, and now I just need to find the area of the green. You could set up another proportion or just realize that the area of the green is the area of the entire circle minus the area of the yellow. So the area of sector 2 is the area of my entire circle minus the area of sector 1. This gives me 615.752 minus 205.251. So take 615.752 minus 205.251. I get about 410.501 feet squared. That's the area of sector 2. Hopefully you got the same numbers. If not, go back, double check your math. If you think it's my mathematics error, leave a message or on the wall or send me an email. Alright, we'll look at another example next.